Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, uh, we took a look at all of the DLC ships that uh, come with the PS Vita version. They're only DLC on the PS3. This episode, we are going to check out the DLC characters. Starting with the ones that are available uh, right at the start of the post game, there is a lot of them. So, let's get started. Passionate interview. Valvator and his party were able to defeat fear that they are all mostly working toward their own goals, but as members of the new Hades party, they banded together to help Valvatoras. Valvatora still works as a printing instructor while also leading his party. Or else he can't fulfill his ambition of serving the guy who rules the world. Important training exercises for the Fuka and Desco show. <laughs> It's Adele! Okay. Adele is the protagonist of Disgaea 2. Veldheim is a human world that was turned into a netherworld by a fake Xenon. <laughs> He's now out of a job. He's just a guy who cares about his family. Well, he could uh, assassinate any uh, rivals that Fenric has. <laughs> Just his style. <laughs> of course right now. A hero is always ready. Aw, he's doing it for Rosalind. That's adorable. So yeah, Adele. He likes fists and swords. High attack and speed, perfect for a fist user. Increase that do 30% extra damage battling one on one. He's got a lot of fire skills, including a triple S skill. Not bad. Everyone, let's go. But he's still no match for Val. Sorry, Adele.
We're gonna get along just great, Adele. Sardines! <laughs> Adele became a party member. Pretty great. Okay, next up. A lady's lesson. This is probably going to be Rosalind. It's Rosalind! Because she's the real Xenon, and the guy posing it as, as her dad is an imposter. Ah, she's doing it for Adele. That's adorable. <laughs> Talk about it soon, Barry. That is going to be quite a challenge. What? Measle versus Rosalind. Let's go. Okay, so Rosalind, a sheltered princess. She wields guns and staves. Uh, given her stats, she definitely prefers guns. Well, maybe. Queen Glitter, increase stats of adjacent male units in headquarters by 10%. So she's not at all like uh, Artina. So yeah, she's got a couple different things here going on. Not gonna lose. Unfortunately, Rosalind, you're still not much of a mu match for uh, our level thousand plus characters. Hey there, Adele. It's all for Taro and Hanako. <laughs> Talk about a tsundere. So yeah, I'm assuming that if you do the uh, two scenarios in the <laughs> freeloader, 
two scenarios in the opposite order, you get different dialogue. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show it here. Aww, they really do love each other. They gotta be married! <laughs> Perfect position, huh? <laughs> she joined the party as an educator. All right. Next up. Whoops, wrong, uh, wrong episode. Miracle heroine. Is this going to be, uh, is this going to be Sapphire? Oh, hey there, Asagi. What are you doing here? It's high definition, Asagi! Asagi NT. New technology, okay. She just finally caught up with the rest of us. Closer to Tyrant Valvatores? Why? Oh yeah, because he's the main character. She just wants to pick a fight with the main character. <laughs> main character NT uses bows and guns. Execute one additional normal attack when gun is equipped. Nice. So yeah, looking pretty cool there. Also, you were a way higher level than I was expecting. Oh, well, we're just gonna have to punch you in the back with a werewolf. What do you have equipped anyway? I guess it doesn't matter. There we go.
bring it on any time, he says. <laughs> Just to prove the bill, I switch between the old and new Asagi. And he experience. So, uh, yeah. That's a thing. Alright, moving on. Demon modification. That sounds like Mao. Yep, it's Mao. Mao is the main character of Disgaea 3. He is the Dean of Evil Academy. <laughs> he wants to do mad science. Ooh, he likes fusion. Okay, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An artificial demon, yes. You'd figure Mao would get excited about that. Puka versus Mao, let's go. Evil Academy Dean. Swords, spears, axes, and stabs. Violent courage. The more enemies there are, the more he powers up. Ooh, he does extra star damage and he resists star. Cool. Unfortunately, he is no match for us.
This is not going to end well. <laughs> well then. Alright, moving on to the next character. Power Challenge! Huh, I don't know who this one is. It's Priye! There she is! Priye is the main character of La Pucelle Tactics. Uh, this version of her is from the bad ending, where uh, she got totally so distracted by the Netherworlds that uh, she became an overlord and just abandoned her mission entirely. <laughs> she turns into an axe. So, extra turn, get another turn when you defeat an enemy with a normal attack. Force the target to counterattack when attacked. Okay, E D. Look at that uh, range, though. Not bad. Not bad, Prie. I shall reeducate you. Let's check out Wings of Fire. I shall reeducate you. That was pretty cool. She just wants to fight the strong. Okay, that's interesting. Next up, Mr. Axel! Ooh, are we gonna recruit Pink? Yep! She's the only maiden among the evil reinders. 
Pink showed up in the in Axel's scenario in Disgaea 2 for the PSP. She's only here to say hi to Axel. <laughs> She's a death saber now instead of a slumber cat. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> that just sounds like Axel being an idiot. Sure, why not? Ready? Axel versus Pink. So, Vanishing Cat, turn the target's back toward you when attacking while adjacent. Cool. Half damage if above the attacker. Survive a critical hit by going to sleep. Uh, okay. So yeah, she's got some uh, different uh, she's got some different skills than a uh, cat saber does. seems like a disadvantage. Hey, wake up, Pink. Now we can create Death Sabers! Yay!
で<笑><笑>